Hi, in this video I will demonstrate a simple way of adding the watermark to your model which cannot be modified or removed. We will start by downloading add watermark feature sample from Codstack website. This solution consists of two macros. First one is an authoring macro which is going to insert our watermark and another one is an actual watermark which is going to be embedded into the model. So I'm firstly going to copy the source code for our authoring macro. Come back to SOLIDWORKS, enable macro toolbar, click on new macro button, give it a name and just copy paste my code over here. I can modify some parameters here. At first I would change my security node. This is a node which is going to be added at the origin of the model and cannot be changed or deleted by the user. So we'll just change it to demo model. Now I'm going to come back to the website and copy the source code of another macro which is going to be our watermark macro. I'm just going to repeat similar step and create new macro in SOLIDWORKS. It is important to name this macro as watermark SWP and save it in exactly the same location as my authoring macro. I also have a few parameters to change here. So first one is a feature name and another one is the message which is going to be displayed when anyone click edit definition button of the feature. It is required to password protect that watermark feature so no one can access it and change its code. So I'm going to select the watermark properties from the context menu, check log project for viewing in the protection tab and specify my password. Just save the macro and we're all done. So now we can come back to our insert watermark macro and just insert it in any model we want. So I just click run and as you can see there is a demo feature appeared in my tree. And there is also a security node inserted into the origin and I'm clicking on it and I cannot modify it, neither could delete it. The feature itself cannot be suppressed, as you can see this option is missing. When I click on edit definition I receive the message which I specified in the macro before. And similar to the security node this feature cannot be deleted. And it cannot be even renamed, so whenever I change the feature name and do some state change such as selection, rebuild, file save, file open, it gets reverted to the original name. So I can also try to change it uh, via the properties and I'm going to receive exactly the same result. So just select the plane and it is get renamed back. This feature will always be moved at the end of the feature tree. So for example, if I'm going to add uh, some feature, let's say fill it in this case, and after the insertion my demo feature is still appeared at the end. And this feature will be embedded to the model so you can send it to any user without sending those macros and it will behave in exactly the same way. So just here I'm going to open it again just to make sure that it still uh, works. So I will try to rename it and I will just select it again and you can see it all works and my security node is still here. And as I can would expect, it cannot be deleted as well. And now only the author of the macro who knows the password will be able to unlock and delete it. So to do that, you need to create or open existing macro. I can simply select insert watermark macro. And now I just need to come back to Solars and simply select that feature. And in VBA editor, I will be able to see my watermark macro here. I just need to enter the password to unlock its source code. Now to make this feature editable, I need to modify my security function here and just put zero as a result and save the macro. Now my feature is unlocked. So as you can see, the delete option is here and I can simply delete this feature from the model. Thank you for your time.